Beneath the endless expanse of bright white ice, Antarctica holds the untold secrets of our planet's climate history preserved for millennia within its frozen depths. This is a continent like no other, a vast icy wilderness that stretches as far as the eye can see. Its sheer size can be daunting, covering an area twice the size of Australia, and the ice that blankets it is miles deep in places. Yet, despite its remoteness and harsh conditions, Antarctica is a place of unparalleled importance to our understanding of the Earth's past and future. Its ice, cold and unyielding, is a silent testament to the climatic shifts that have shaped our world. Each layer, each tiny air bubble trapped within, is a chapter in a story that spans hundreds of thousands of years. This is the coldest place on Earth, with temperatures plummeting to minus 70 degrees Celsius in the depths of winter. It's also the driest, receiving less precipitation than even the world's most arid deserts. Yet it's these very conditions that have allowed such a remarkable record of our climate to remain intact, frozen in time. Antarctica's ice is not just a record of the past, but a barometer of the present and a predictor of the future. The shifts and changes it undergoes are closely watched by scientists, for they provide vital clues about the health of our planet and the impacts of human-induced climate change. As we delve into this frozen expanse, we'll explore the formation of glaciers and ice sheets, the role of ice in Earth's climate system, and the invaluable information contained within ice cores. We'll examine what the ice tells us about climate change and how it's changing in response to our warming world. And we'll look to the future, considering what the fate of Antarctic ice means for us all. Join us as we uncover the science of ice in Antarctica, the world's natural archive of climate data. Glaciers and ice sheets begin as layers of fallen snow, compressing over centuries into dense, flowing ice. They are the product of a fascinating process that starts quite simply with the falling of snowflakes. Over time, the snow accumulates, layer upon layer, each one bearing the silent testimony of the climate conditions of its time. As these layers mount, the snowflakes at the bottom undergo a transformation. Pressure from the weight above compacts them into granular round ice particles, a substance known as fern. As more snow falls and years turn into centuries, the fern is further compressed, eventually forming the dense blue ice that characterizes glaciers and ice sheets. But this is not the end of the story. These newly formed glaciers are not static. They are dynamic and constantly on the move, albeit at a pace that's often too slow for the human eye to perceive. The immense weight of the ice, combined with the slow but relentless pull of gravity, sets these ice masses into motion. They flow from high mountain peaks down to valleys or from the central areas of ice sheets towards the coasts, carving and shaping the landscape as they go. They scrape and erode the underlying rock, carrying with them a load of rock debris that can reshape entire landscapes and create features such as moraines, drumlins and erratics. But the influence of glaciers and ice sheets goes beyond their immediate surroundings. By reflecting sunlight back into space, they play a crucial role in regulating Earth's temperature. When they melt, they contribute to sea level rise and can impact ocean currents. These colossal ice masses sculpt our planet's surface, driven by their immense weight and the slow but relentless pull of gravity. They are not just static entities, but dynamic shapers of Earth's surface, integral to many of the processes that make our planet habitable. Antarctica's ice is a critical regulator of the global climate. To understand why, we need to delve into two key concepts, the albedo effect and the influence of ice on ocean currents. First, let's tackle the albedo effect. Derived from the Latin word albus, meaning white albedo, refers to the ability of a surface to reflect sunlight. The brighter the surface, the higher its albedo. Antarctica, with its vast expanses of brilliant white ice, has a high albedo, reflecting a significant amount of solar energy back into space. This reflection helps to moderate global temperatures, acting as Earth's natural air conditioning system, but the role of ice doesn't stop there. It also has a profound influence on ocean currents. When sea ice forms, it expels salt, increasing the salinity and density of the surrounding seawater. This denser water sinks and begins a global conveyor belt of ocean currents, circulating cold and warm waters around the world. This circulation, known as thermohaline circulation, plays a vital role in distributing heat across the planet. 
It impacts weather patterns, marine life ecosystems, and even the levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. So from the reflective surface of the ice to the depths of the ocean, Antarctica's ice helps regulate the Earth's climate system. It's a delicate balance and one that is increasingly threatened by the effects of climate change. As the ice melts, it not only contributes to rising sea levels, but it also disrupts the albedo effect and ocean circulation, potentially leading to a cascade of climatic shifts. In conclusion, Antarctica's ice is more than just a frozen desert at the bottom of the world. It's a vital component of our planet's health, a powerful force that shapes our climate and our lives. Its white surface reflects solar energy back into space, while its meltwater drives ocean currents that circulate warmth around the planet. It's a story of ice and fire, of cold and heat, and of the intricate interplay that maintains the balance of our world. Deep within these icy expanses lie ice cores, nature's own time capsules. These ice cores are not just frozen water, but intricate archives, preserving the chronicles of Earth's atmospheric history. Imagine, if you will, an intrepid team of scientists in the heart of Antarctica drilling deep into the ice. Their mission? To extract these cores, cylindrical samples that can stretch for over two miles into the ice sheet. It's an arduous process, a combination of precision, patience and resilience against the biting Antarctic cold. But the rewards are well worth the effort. Once extracted, these cores are carefully preserved and transported to laboratories around the world. There they undergo meticulous analysis, each layer of ice examined, each bubble of air scrutinized. These bubbles, trapped as the ice formed, are tiny pockets of the ancient atmosphere frozen in time. By measuring the gases within these bubbles, scientists can determine the composition of the Earth's atmosphere at the time the ice was formed. But the data held within these cores goes beyond just atmospheric gas concentrations. They also contain tiny particles, such as dust, volcanic ash, and even pollen. These particles provide additional clues about what the world was like when the ice formed. Was there a volcanic eruption? Was it a period of abundant plant life? Each layer of ice tells a different chapter of Earth's climatic past. And what a past it is, some of the oldest ice cores give us a glimpse into climate conditions dating back almost a million years. That's longer than modern humans have walked the Earth. This wealth of data allows scientists to track patterns and changes in the climate over vast timescales, providing invaluable context for understanding our current climate situation. Trapped within these frozen shafts are air bubbles from ancient atmospheres, offering us a snapshot of climate conditions spanning back hundreds of thousands of years. These ice cores, these time capsules, are our window into the past, helping us understand the present and perhaps guiding us towards a sustainable future. By analyzing these ice cores, scientists can trace the history of Earth's climate. Each layer of ice is a page in the diary of our planet, marking the passage of seasons, years, and epochs. Like rings in a tree, these layers are counted, measured, and analyzed, revealing a detailed chronicle of our world's climatic past. These ice cores contain tiny bubbles of ancient air, trapped as the snow compacted over centuries. Scientists extract these bubbles and analyze them to measure the levels of carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases present at the time the ice formed. These gas concentrations provide a direct record of atmospheric composition and climate change over hundreds of thousands of years. Ice cores also contain dust particles, volcanic ash, pollen and other microscopic remnants carried by the wind and trapped in the snow. These particles act as markers, pinpointing significant events in Earth's history. For instance, high levels of sulfuric acid in the ice can indicate a major volcanic eruption, a natural event known to temporarily cool the Earth's climate. Today, Antarctica's ice is changing. This icy realm at the bottom of our world is not as static and unyielding as it may seem. It's in constant motion, a shifting kaleidoscope of frozen landscapes. It's a dance choreographed by the forces of nature and increasingly by the influence of human activity. Satellites orbiting our planet keep a watchful eye on this remote continent, recording changes in the ice that are both natural and those driven by climate change. They capture images of enormous ice shelves, some the size of small countries, as they carve off and break away into the ocean. They chart the retreat of glaciers, their ancient ice flowing more swiftly into the sea. These changes are not merely aesthetic, they are not just about the loss of stunning landscapes, they carry profound implications for our planet and all its inhabitants. When ice shelves break away, they can accelerate the flow of land-based ice into the sea, contributing to sea level rise. 
The retreat of glaciers is also a concern as it can expose dark rock that absorbs more sunlight, hastening the warming of the planet. The future of Antarctica's ice is inseparable from the future of the globe. As we stand on the precipice of a new era, the untold stories locked within this frozen frontier become ever more crucial. This desolate, icy expanse is not just a window into our past, but a beacon illuminating the path ahead. Beneath the surface, ongoing research is revealing new insights. Scientists from across the globe converge on this icy wilderness, armed with drill rigs and satellites, braving the cold in pursuit of knowledge. Through their tireless efforts, we continue to peel back the layers of Antarctica's icy mystery. Yet, this is not just a scientific endeavor. The data gathered from these icy depths forms a critical piece of the puzzle in our understanding of climate change. From the air bubbles trapped within ice cores to the shifting patterns of ice shelves, each discovery adds another piece to the picture. The ice, in its silent wisdom, is a testament to the resilience of our planet. It has weathered countless storms and endured through the ages. Yet it also bears the scars of our actions. Rising temperatures, melting ice caps and retreating glaciers are stark reminders of the impact we've had on our world. But with these sobering truths comes hope. The more we learn from the ice, the better equipped we are to face the challenges ahead. The knowledge gleaned from Antarctica's ice is not just for the textbooks, but for policymakers and citizens alike, informing actions that could shape the future of our planet. As we look towards the future, our mission is clear. We must continue to listen to what the ice has to tell us, to learn from its age-old wisdom and to act on its warnings. The future of Antarctica's ice is not a distant concern, but a pressing reality that calls for our attention. As researchers continue to unlock the secrets held frozen in time, our understanding grows, informing actions to address the global challenge of climate change. In the silence of Antarctica, the ice continues to tell its story, whispering the needs of our planet. The icy expanse, seemingly detached from the world we know, is subtly but profoundly intertwined with our global climate, our ecosystems, and ultimately, our survival. As the ice changes, it sends out signals. These signals, carried by rising sea levels, shifting weather patterns, and altering ecosystems, are the cries of our planet. They tell us of a world that is rapidly warming, of polar ice that is melting, and of a future that could be starkly different from the world we know today. But these signals are not simply warnings of doom. They are messages of change, and with change comes opportunity. The opportunity to adapt, to innovate, and to steer our world towards a more sustainable future. And to seize this opportunity, we must first listen to what the ice is saying. The ice cores of Antarctica are like time capsules, preserving the history of our planet's climate for hundreds of thousands of years. By studying these, we can learn how the Earth has changed in the past and use this knowledge to predict and prepare for future changes. This is our responsibility. As the guardians of this planet, it is up to us to understand these changes, to respond to them, and to ensure the survival of our world for generations to come. It is a colossal task, but it is one that we are capable of. The legacy we leave behind will not be measured by our technological advancements or our economic prosperity, but by the health of our planet by how we responded to its needs and how we shaped its future. So let us listen to the tales the ice tells. Let us understand its messages, respond to its warnings and act for the sake of our planet. For the ice of Antarctica holds the key to our future, to our survival and to our global legacy. It's up to us to listen and respond for in its tales lies the key to our global legacy.